Hi, today we are with my dear friend Deborah Roberts. Deborah Roberts and I have been friends for such a long, long time. One of my dearest friends. We've known each other from an artistic perspective oh, yeah. for such a very, very long time. And today she's having her very first art show. We're so excited to hear to be in New York. Deborah, can you tell us a little bit about your work? And Deborah is from Austin, Texas, so she is a fellow Texan, but she has hit the big time here in New York, and I'm so proud. Yeah, well, my work deals with young girls who ages 8 to 10 who just come in on their idea of beauty. How has that beauty been imagined? So as you go through my collages, you're going to look at our history, um, at African-American history, you're going to see American history, and you're going to see pop culture. How has that influenced these young girls? And Deborah, how does it feel today? It's quite exciting to be here. This is something back in our 20s we've always it's talked about this yeah. moment. And here we are. It's It just is a fine example of how dreams do come true and you can make things happen if you believe. And that's what's so exciting about today. And I'm, I'm excited to actualize it and experience it with you. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I never can imagine me being here. This is you know, a little bit later than I had hoped I wanted to do it in my 30s so I could be a drunk alcoholic by now. But <laughs> since that didn't happen right now, I'm just a regular person, love fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but you know, it works with the work. What did I gotta say? What can I say? Oh, well thank you, Deborah. And I'm gonna walk around the show and look at some of the pieces and maybe as I walk around, you can share a little bit with me. Sure, okay? yeah, okay, thank definitely. you. Do you want me to keep it rolling? Beautiful work by Deborah Roberts here. You can see how she does beautiful things with the collage. I love the patterns. Yes. Girls. Clothes here. I love this piece. This is a piece from a dress that I wore at one of Deborah's shows. Yep. You her win. We. Oh right. Oh right. <laughs> She has in the gallery, and uh, every day we're amazed at, at how hard she's worked um, to get to where she is at, at, at this moment. And um, we, we like to think that th this is just, uh, you know, the bottom of the second inning for her, and she has a, a, a long, healthy, and prosperous uh, career ahead of her. And um, yeah, it's it's wonderful working with her, and we're real proud. And um, 
We appreciate uh, all of your support because if you guys weren't here, then it would just be me, Carolyn, and Deb. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And and Lucy. Correct. <laughs> um, so yeah, just in, enjoy yourself. Um, those those who are from out of town. I heard a lot of y'alls when I was walking. <laughs> And I scratched my head. I said, "Am I in New York still?" <laughs> but, um, yeah, but but it seems like Deborah has a, a, a tight support system, and uh, we, we know there are a lot of old friends here who, who know Deborah a lot longer than uh, Carolyn and I do. But why don't we all raise a glass and uh, give a big toast to uh, to Deborah? And uh, hopefully, you. this is yeah, to many more exhibitions, Deborah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for talking now. Speeches, speeches. I haven't even drunk any alcohol. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming and supporting me. And I know a lot of people came from Austin and Houston. I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, Wendy Vogel, I mean, she brought me to New York the first time where everybody saw me, and it was great. And, and Larry, and so many people. And, and the wonderful Studio Museum of Harlem. I just love them so much. And I just thank everybody for their support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Woo!